and roll with a hot wired trunk full of the greatest games and gadgets for the high speed mobile generation. Don't blink or you'll miss this on the go edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. and welcome to Filter's annual MMO. That's a massively materialistic orgy of holiday treasures. I'm Diane Mizoda, and some poor sap in accounting is gonna crap when he sees my expense report this month. Tonight, we're serving up the coolest new tech toys and game titles for your friends on the go. There's something for everyone here, from the Richie Richies to the bum on a budget. Trying to look hot with a massive hard drive-based MP3 player attached to your hip isn't easy. Try the Moby Blue DAH-1500i instead. This cubic beauty won't make you look like a square and holds a full gigabyte of tunes within its tiny little walls. The Moby Blue gives you a lot in a small package. It plays MP3s and WMA files, of course, but then it also has eight to 10 hours of battery life, an FM radio, and a built-in voice recorder so that you can record yourself screaming in agony as you accidentally sit on it. Though the Moby Blue 1500i square shape might not be very inconspicuous in your pocket, it does have an appealing design that you won't have to sell your eyes to afford. The Moby Blue DAH-1500i will be running for about $130. Everybody loves Apple style and quality, but we don't all have a trust fund and can't necessarily take out another mortgage to buy a computer. Well, that's where a Veritex 3700 series laptops come in. The real selling point is that they offer a recognizably sleek white look that Macs have for PC people at a nice price. With AMD Sempron processors, 12.1 inch TFT screens, and appealing cases, a Veritex 3700 series won't disappoint. And at $9.99, you can save a little money for when you have to put a down payment on a video iPod. For that special someone who fantasizes about cosplaying as Tifa in her spare time, we recommend the Final Fantasy Advent Children UMD. This pocket-sized epic will put you back in stride with the Final Fantasy VII storyline and will play anywhere your PSP will go. Just when you thought they had exhausted every possible storyline you can put Mario in, they came up with one that takes the taco. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time puts the two plumbers in touch with their past selves to save the princess yet again. The hilarity of the previous Mario and Luigi title is back, but this offering has more playability with the advent of the dual screen console. Though the game's story would be a paradox in real life, let's not split hairs. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time will provide you with a good time and it's only 34 bucks. Hey, pay attention there, kids. Okay, fine, here's what we just looked at. The Moby Blue DAH-1500i squared off against the competition and proved its geometric greatness. And the Averitech 3700 series laptop gave you the goods in an attractive wrapper. The Final Fantasy Advent Children UMD took your nerd fantasies on the road with the PSP. And Mario and Luigi, partners in time, got palsy on your DS. And just like that, you can cross a name off your gift list. Stick with me, kids, and I'll have you out of the mall by happy hour. Up next on Filter's holiday hit list to go, as anybody who's anybody will tell you, rich people simply cannot have their pictures taken with a camera that costs anything less than $8,000. Seriously, check the social register. Call of Duty 2, rated T for team. When we finally get home, first thing I'm gonna do is... <gasps> Behind the jeep! I'm out! I'm out! I need ammo! You owe me one! 
They were America's most legendary infantry unit. And though every man was different, they fought as one. Big Red One. Call of Duty 2, Big Red One. Rated T for teen. Welcome back to Filter's Holiday Hit List. We've already seen how easy it is to shop for poor people. Rich friends, on the other hand, are a bit more troublesome. But they're worth the effort because they often have things like ski houses and private jets. So remember them and their busy lives at the holidays with the coolest in top shelf portable tech. If you have enough money lying around to fill your bathtub with, you can afford really unnecessary things like, for example, a 12.8 megapixel digital SLR. The Canon EOS is a 12.8 megapixel SLR camera, which means it's basically professional grade. Though it will probably end up gathering dust in your lavish closet, the Canon EOS 5D is probably more camera than real professional photographers can even afford. But hey, you need that kind of power for your daily snapshots, right? The average person can take photos of a birthday party, a vacation, the runway tied up in the crawl space, and then blow up that photo to poster size. When you need poster-sized printouts of the help, the Canon EOS 5D will fit the extraordinarily large bill. To get your privileged little hands on one, however, will set you back about $3,000. For those with a massive lap and a huge wallet, take the Voodoo Envy desktop replacement PC with you. Sporting enough power to do some hardcore gaming on the road, the Big Red Bombshell has all the comforts of PC home and none of those wires. Whether you call it a supersized laptop or a tiny supercomputer, the Voodoo Envy's hefty feature set will be sure to please those with a big enough wad to afford it. It's not truly portable, but you can certainly take it to a LAN party. It looks great, super sleek, um, and it's so powerful. You can plunk this bad boy down under the tree, but beware, it will cost you about the price of a small car in some countries. Real old money folk require a little Sony style in their handheld gaming devices. Our recommendation? The Sony PSP, of course. It probably is a pretty good idea to pick one up now. You know, there's still a lot of good stuff out on store shelves, and you have big games like Grand Theft Auto that are coming out, and there's stuff coming out in the future that looks really great. You may have to hire another butler to help buff the smudges off the PSP's glossy exterior, but the high style factor is worth it. The price is not exactly chump change, though, at $300. Be a legend in your own right and cruise around town totaling expensive cars. Not in real life, in Burnout Legends for the PSP, silly. This game takes all the greatness of the original on the road and even offers Wi-Fi play and a game share option. The Burnout series has always been a really fun series, very fast paced, very high energy, um, and the PSP one plays really nicely. The screen just looks great. It feels really nice. It's a good racing game. And you can just pick it up and play wireless with your friends. With enough high impact auto action to satisfy even the most crash crazy creepazoids, Burnout Legends will be on fire this holiday season. But be careful when you drive to the store to pick it up and bring about 30 ducats with you. Though it's not as if you need more half-naked women traipsing around your mansion, Dead or Alive 4 is bringing new characters and new skin to the series. With your brand new Xbox 360, DOA and High Def 3D will kick your virtual ASS. Destroy your friends miles across the globe while simultaneously chatting about how poor and underprivileged they are with Xbox Live. Hey, why not just fly there and do it in person? DOA 4 features interactive environments and new unlockable characters like the Halo Spartan. The cost is only $50 plus any fees accrued by hiring people to play it for you. Before we reach deeper into our holiday swag bag, let's look at what we've just seen. The Canon EOS 5D digital SLR gave your wallet reason to cry and your photo album reason to rejoice. Voodoo's dolled up Envy desktop replacement left you with no excuse to miss the LAN party. And if you didn't have one already, Sony's PlayStation Portable gave you good reason to give up your life savings. But let's stop being so serious and start playing some games. Burnout Legends chose not to fade away and spend some time on your PSP instead. And Tecmo's Dead or Alive 4 jiggled defiantly in the face of gravity and reason. Do you think really rich people are actually happy? Yeah, they probably are. Damn it! 
Come to think of it, screw those people. Up next on Filter's Holiday Hit List, we'll pick out prezzies for the roaming fashion hogs in your life, including a sexy way to stuff the whole internet into your pants. Five, 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 heck of a deal. Sure is. Three medium pizzas, just five bucks each. Man, with the money I save, we could afford to live a little, right? I guess. Kids, go ahead. Turn on the lamp. Yeah! Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, they just love that light. OK, lamp time's over. Treat yourself to the 555 deal and make one a Steak Fanatic pizza for just three bucks more. It's Domino's 555 deal. Paintball hits home. Mission Paintball. Whether you take aim or take cover, your marker is set to splat. Move through Paintball Pack levels to uncover more characters and gear. Now you're ready to reload and let loose. It's time to take on your TV in Paintball. Mission Paintball. Batteries and glass screen TV not included. Game is not motion sensitive. This has got to go. You shouldn't have to wait to skate. New Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. First skating game with no loading screens. Tear up the streets of Hollywood. Mess with rich people in Beverly Hills. Shred near the beach in Dogtown. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Rated T for Teen. Finding the right movie to rent hasn't always been easy. With Netflix, you can get the details on all 50,000 titles. From classics to new releases, and even search for children's movies based on age. That way, there's a movie waiting for you at home. Hello? A princess movie! It's perfect! There's a movie waiting for you at home. Netflix. All the DVDs you want, starting at only $9.99 a month, no late fees. Welcome back to Filter's bulging sack of holiday gift ideas. You know those people who always seem to look good no matter how big a hurry they're in? Yeah, I hate those people. Unless they're my size and they let me borrow stuff. Shopping for your style-conscious pals can be a challenge, but just remember, image isn't everything, it's the only thing. These days, it's hard for the stylish man about town to find time for things like text messaging and emailing people. That's where the Nokia 9300 comes in. It has a wealth of high-end connectivity features, and unlike most smartphones, it won't make you look like one of those BlackBerry-wielding corporate me-toos. The QWERTY keyboard, it makes IMing or even emailing uh, really easy. Plus, it looks like a phone, um, so you can kind of impress your friends when you flip it up and they see the keyboard underneath the outer exterior. The best part of the Nokia 9300 is that you can hide your Taskmaster side with the phone's flip-open design. All this form and function, however, will cost you around $579. Back in the early 2000s, iPods were a primitive lot. They had crude two-color screens and only played music files. It's hard to believe, I know, especially since this latest iPod is thinner, has a bigger full-color screen, plays video, and best of all, it comes in black. With all the new features on Apple's shiny little breadwinner, it's Christmas for iPod lovers. Well, I guess it's Christmas for everybody. <laughs> If you're into hot Arabian style and you also coincidentally love the Prince of Persia series, then the latest installment, The Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, is for you. In this game, the prince's time-warping shenanigans have seemingly backfired and all of Babylon is in peril. Fortunately, the prince still has all of his crazy slashing attacks, wall running, and of course, his fantastically chic haircut. On top of it all, the game is rife with all of the heavily stylized graphical beauty that the series is known for. And better yet, this prince has promised to never change his name to a symbol. So if you think looks matter, toss the two thrones into your shopping cart and bring about $50. Those of you who were able to stomach the final two films in the Matrix series are probably longing to experience the scenes from the perspective of Neo. 
Well, you're in luck, because the developers have finally taken their psych meds and decided that you can play as Neo instead of Niobe, or some other character you don't recognize. The Matrix Path of Neo will give those style-conscious people on your gift list a peek at the future of fashion, which, according to the Matrix trilogy, is full of hippies who shop at the United Colors of Benetton. Now let's dial down the style meter a notch, or ten. Appearance isn't so important when people only see you whizzing by on your ten speed or in the blue light of your backlit keyboard. It's time to shop for the hardcore gadget fiend in your life. Commence download in three, two. For those people who absolutely refuse to miss their Sex in the City reruns, we recommend the Arcos AV700. The AV700 will record from your TV and stores up to 400 hours of video. On top of that, it has a 7-inch screen, so when you're out and about, people will be able to clearly see the weird stuff that you watch. It only has a 7-inch screen, which isn't the greatest, but it's a lot easier to hold on your lap in a plane than my 25-inch TV at home. Be sure to bring your MasterCard because it will cost you $800. Tired of the obvious decline of civilization that we've been experiencing over the past five years? Well, make your own damn civilization then with Civilization 4 for the PC. Fans of this finely tuned Sid Meier series will love the small changes in this iteration. They've gone to a graphics engine that lets them pull way out in the camera and zoom way in all fluidly so you don't have to click between maps and you fiddle around with buttons and that sort of thing. Pick it up for the humorless historian on your list today for just $50. The next time someone says, is that a router in your pocket or are you just happy to see me, you can finally tell them it's a router. Yes, the Belkin Wireless G Travel Router will in fact fit in your pocket and can create an on-the-go LAN party. Woohoo! The Belkin Wireless G is nice because if you're staying in some rat hole motel that has high-speed internet connection but not wireless high-speed internet connection, you can plug it in and immediately have your own network, then search for porn from the bathroom. Plus, you'll only need 60 bucks to take one with you. If Doom 3 had you quaking in your boots, try id Software's Quake 4. The fine graphical detail of this game will probably be the coup de grace for your PC, but it's worth it to see nightmarish monsters come to life with real lighting effects. Fans of the Quake series are going to spill all over their light-up keyboards when they see the multiplayer aspect of this game, which hopes to continue with the popularity of Quake 3. Stuff Quake 4 into someone's stocking for 50 bones. In the rare event that you just came in, here are the top tech products we just showed off. Nokia's sleek 9300 proved to be America's next top phone model. The Apple iPod Video monopolized the spotlight and your video library. It may not fit in your pocket, but the Arcos AV700 fit the bill as a powerful media player. And finally, Belkin's compact little G unit gave you LAN on the go. Prince and his new generation of epic bloodletting wowed you with the two thrones. The Matrix Path of Neo proved that those Wachowskis aren't dead yet. We gave history a makeover with Civilization IV. And a powerful tremor was felt in the vicinity of your high-end PC with id's Quake 4. I need a quick break. You don't buy eggnog, you rent it, know what I'm saying? But don't go away, because we've got on-the-go gifts for your favorite weirdo, including a gaming headset that'll shake, rattle, and roll the face right off your skull when Filter's holiday hit list returns right after this. These guys are doing homework. Oh, yeah, homework. They're studying game design. It's one of today's hot industries. And you could be part of it in less time than you think. Go Brown College now. Find out how you can get started on a career where you can do what you love. Call now for a free brochure. Operators are standing by. Call 800-719-7268. 800-719-7268. Call now. Rated E to T. Man, I'll beat you without using my hands. What are you playing with? This is just embarrassing. You're getting beat down by a Brussels sprout. I know. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Right corner. Man. You had enough? Yes. This holiday season, separate the high tech from the low ho ho tech with a filter holiday hit list. Continues next, only on G4. I'm Eddie George. This season, instead of working out with trainers, I worked out with gamers. Come on, give it, give it. You got nothing. Explode! 
In exchange for tips on the video game, we put them in the real game. Come on. Training Camp, the only show where gamers and athletes collide. Uh. Right, guys? Oh. G4's Training Camp, hosted by Eddie George, Tuesday at 11.30, only on G4. Welcome back to Filter's Holiday Hit List. We've shopped for some pretty predictable types so far. Budget boy, style freak, hardcore geek, but even your obese cosplaying weirdo friends are busy these days. Here's some stuff they'll love. When tuning out the real world with massive gaming headphones, you might as well add force feedback into the mix. After all, it's America for crying out loud, and if we want vibrations against our ears, we get them. And the Force FX headset does just that. This headset vibrates whenever there are any very low frequency sounds, which normally you wouldn't even be able to hear. Um, plus it has an LED display on the outside that lights up whenever the gaming is very intense. So in other words, these are perfect for epileptics. Yes, it's true, force feedback isn't just for your hands or your pocket anymore. The future of this technology is for the head. Be a part of the future today for just $50. I've trained my whole life for this moment. Is that a casting director? Oh, you're kidding. I have a headshot. If you're not dumb enough to try to get into Hollywood in the real world, do it in the sim world and save yourself the grim, hopeless career with the movies on the PC. This location is all wrong. You're going to be able to make movies in the game and add your own voiceover. Taste this, spaceman. Now I smell best picture. I left Broadway for this. And this game will let you make machinima films as well as live out the role of a star or a star director. They're gonna have like this whole Sundance Film Festival online with movies you created. If this game does jumpstart your career in directing big time feature films, please, no more Jim Carrey comedies. The movies will be coming to a PC near you for just 50 bucks. Wait, wait. It's my breath, isn't it? I'm Tired of all those games where you play a game? Well, then play Quantic Dream's Indigo Prophecy. The game is more of a movie experience than a game and also features a sanity meter that you'll have to monitor. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. In order to keep your sanity high, we might recommend not watching the news and not driving anywhere in California or New York State. It's actually sort of similar to the old school PC adventure games where you know you go through and make different decisions and the story would pan out differently, but the development team has actually done a really good job of adapting it for the console market and uh, trying things that really haven't been done before in an adventure game. Indigo Prophecy will give you a truly new type of video game experience as well as an atmospheric and deeply written story. Check it out this holiday season for just 30 bucks. You just know that a lot of the really cool stuff is on back order this time of year. So just to be on the safe side, if I had three wishes, I guess I'd ask for like five things. If you still haven't thrown in the towel on VHS technology, now's about the time. Don't worry, the Sony DVD Direct will help you put all your old stuff onto DVDs easily, even your special movies. You can take all your VHS tapes that have been piling up of sports games, of parties, and family picnics, and turn them into DVDs without having to use the interface of a PC. Sony's attractive little DVD burner can also take movies off of your camcorder directly and can be plugged into your PC to burn video projects and the like as well. All this burning flexibility comes at a price, though. The DVD Direct will burn a $300 hole in your pocket. game that can take a basic human emotion and make a utilitarian acronym out of it must be interesting. FEAR, or First Encounter Assault Recon, is an atmospheric FPS for the PC that has enough creepy plot elements to keep you on the edge of your force feedback gaming chair. Fear is definitely a game to look forward to if you're a PC gamer because it's got beautiful graphics, but at the same time, it's a scary game. Fear has this whole supernatural aspect, and it captures that Asian horror 
you know, get inside your head psychological thriller, but puts a gun in your hand and lets you play a first person shooter at the same time. Although the game might look scary, don't be afraid to brave the shopping crowds and pick it up. Fear should retail for around 50 bucks. Unless you're into crashing as a fetish or something, you probably want to keep those hands on the wheel. Well, what if you want to answer your celly? Look no further than the Motorola IHF850 Bluetooth Car Kit. Motorola's Bluetooth Car Kit will keep your hands free in style for around $179. If you've got Alzheimer's, don't worry, here's the stuff we just showed you. The Force FX headset gave new meaning to the phrase headbanging. Sony's DVD Direct made your VHS collection obsolete, all in an attractive little package. And unlike the kind of blue teeth you get from drinking Drano, the BLNC Car Kit's Bluetooth proved it might save your life. The movies premiered on your PC. Don't miss the Machinima Red Carpet Show. Indigo Prophecy presumed you guilty of murder before you even had a chance to defend yourself. And we looked at that thing that scares you the most. Fear. Stick a fork in it, kids, because this episode of Filter's four-part holiday hit list is done. If you missed any info, check out our show notes at g4tv.com slash hit list. Until next time, I'm Diane Mizoda, and if the journey is the destination, then why the hell did I book a hotel room?